Hello there, this is Tamil, and today I wanted to talk about two most important things in my life at the moment. One of them is the fact that I'm kind of getting sick, but I'm kind of not getting sick, so I feel weird and I'm kind of falling asleep as I'm speaking. And secondly, I wanted to talk about Clip Studio Paint, which is the new version. If you look at it, it's gonna be the 3.0 version of Clip Studio Paint, which is different. But it's not different because it's the same. It's the same. It's exactly the same. It, it just has some new features and stuff. So um, a lot of people talking about the features. So we're gonna go over those. A lot of people are complaining about the pricing, which has been a problem before as well. So I'm gonna go over a little bit of the pricing as well because it has been confusing as to what costs what anymore because it's subscription, but it's not. But you don't have to upgrade. But who should upgrade and who shouldn't upgrade and and where is my will to live and to draw i haven't drawn in like a week and i'm reviewing a drawing software somebody should fire me let's get into it all right so we are in clip studio paint and this is the ipad version which is only a subscription if you did not know about that which means i will pay for this uh for the rest of my life and never own a single <laughs> thing that is on my iPad anymore which is great so we have our painting and the first feature is color match if you go into edit go into tonal correction uh, there's gonna be color match very cool feature I love it already um, you can go ahead and steal colors from different people if you really are evil like this but um, it already gives you like a couple of images to uh, get it from so it's gonna look at the image transfer the colors pretty straightforward you can play around with the intensity if you want to you know mix and match a little bit more and uh, we can upload our own colors so if I go here and I painted this thing a while ago um, and it does has this like sepia color so we can do that but I really like this purple so I'm gonna click OK and boom we color coded our image which is pretty common in photography so i think this is a lot of fun and i really like this feature also clip studio paint added a bunch of cool filters and i love filters because i don't have to paint anything <laughs> i don't have to worry about painting i can just click buttons and be a dj and that is what i love so we can go into filter and go into effect one of them is chromatic aberration so it gives you this kind of glow effect of like a retro vibe um, a lot of people use it for cyberpunk kind of art style a cool thing that is also added is noise finally we have into filter effects noise and if you really zoom in it gives this like cool little texture and sometimes if you just have flat colors that are just super bright and they don't have any texture to it this is a really cool way to add it and make your artwork more dimensional and just feel like more traditional in a way and if you go to filter effect pencil drawing in here you're gonna see a quick effect overlay of uh, pencil drawing if you want to save some time when you're making a manga and you just want to place a picture you took um, this is a totally viable way to just show um, a background for example and I think it's like super helpful uh, I'm really glad that we got this filter now and the last but not least of filters is gonna be effects uh, retro film I'm not sure <laughs> why it's here because uh, this is more for photography, so that's why I took a picture of a honey bear wearing this. But basically, there's going to be sepia and a light leak. And I don't know if you've ever taken a picture of anything with film camera, but uh, when film gets exposed to light uh, a little bit in the wrong way, you get these uh, spots which look cool but uh, a lot of times they're not super intentional back in the day and so now we can actually add that and a little bit of noise it's super random clips to repaint we really appreciate it but uh, this is more for photography uh, but it's it's awesome that we have it now so now everybody can experience this retro vibe and there's going to be a few other cool features that I will briefly mention since I don't want to take up like 15 minutes out of your day. Uh, one of them, if you go to Pose Maniac, 
uh, pose maniac <laughs> you can see there's a bunch of cool poses it's a cool website study muscle study gesture and supposedly you can now just go ahead and take these and you can import them into clip studio paint on your 3d model which hopefully i will cover in the future when i get time another cool feature is going to be only for clip studio paint x and that is layer comps if you don't know what layer comp is, um, basically you just get to choose and save visibility for specific layers. A few other features is now we have 3D model hierarchies, which uh, basically you can just connect a specific 3D model to something else. Let's say you have a pen on a table and you want to move the table. Um, now you can move the table and the pen will come with it. We also can import VRM uh, files, which is basically for VTuber models. We can pose them. And now we can also import normal maps in Clip Studio Paint, which is uh, really surprising because that's mostly for like actual 3D software. So I'm really glad that they're uh, putting more effort into that. Uh, if you don't know what import um, normal map is, um, basically pretend that you have a tree and it has like all these little cracks and like little patterns. Uh, it's really, really hard to like model that and make it super realistic. So uh, you put like a picture over a cylinder and it pretends like there is those like <laughs> geometry and curves and all of that stuff. So it basically saves you a little bit of uh, time and your computer doesn't explode. We can also see total work time in the information palette So you're gonna see like how long you've worked at a piece uh, We have improved mesh transformation. So it's gonna allow us a more detailed way um, To work with our images when we convert it on the flat surface and speaking of manga There's gonna be a bunch of new features uh, going into text so text alignment, justify, uh, putting text in a circle, uh, searching fonts. So there's a bunch of cool new features that are specifically for lettering. So if you do manga in any way, I think it's really, really worth it. We finally got ourselves export transparent GIF support, which is amazing in my opinion. I really love making little animations and export them. And we have uh, better add delete layer uh, within the folders. We also have um, audio scrubbing. So a few new features for animation. So if you do animation, I think it's really, really cool. Our file size will go down a little bit since it's gonna be 80% smaller. If you have a time-lapse recording, we can also export our images with a watermark. We also have improved subview palette and a new simple mode. It's a little bit different from the last time that I've used it and I made a video about it. Uh, personally, that is my favorite feature because it's a little bit getting closer to Procreate. And if you wanna just pick up your program and just doodle uh, like on the street or let's say in class, it really is more useful than having all these extra options and extra buttons that you usually get with Clip Studio Paint. And we're finally getting ourselves into the deep end of the Clip Studio Paint conspiracy. Um, this is going to be the two slides that they were nice enough to give us a quick rundown of how to buy, how to get Clips to Paint 3 if you want to do it for uh, new users and for the current users. So let's check out what can we decipher from this BS and what can we decipher from this BS. And before we get into this mess and it gets super confusing and I will cry in the corner, uh, the main thing I think that Clips to Paint missed on and made everything so much more confusing is the update pass and if you don't understand what update pass is here's my understanding basically you buy update pass for this much money and you get everything up to date for 12 months only basically after 12 months it goes back to your original whichever version you were using goes back to it, which in my opinion is really, really, really <laughs> not worth it. Don't do it. There's no point. Um, so anytime there's going to be update pass in this 
confusing ass diagram, I'll just say F the up update pass, just don't do it. And this is for current users that already have Clip Studio Paint. Um, for people who are super confused and don't want to read all of this, <laughs> I will explain. Uh, you can continue using your version. So whatever version you have, it doesn't matter what it is, which version you have, you can keep using it. Good job. You, <laughs> you saved your art sanity. Uh, number two, if you have the pass or the subscription, you get 3.0 regardless. Doesn't matter what happens, you will get 3.0 which is cool, I guess, uh, for everyone else, whatever this, whatever this stuff is, uh, but you should be able to buy 3.0. Um, I don't think you will get the future updates unless you pay a little more. So let's say 3.5 comes out with like cooler stuff. I don't think we will have access to that from my uh, stupid understanding and my, my little brain um, that is not understanding anything, that is how it's going to go. For people who are new, uh, if you want to use it, congrats, you get to up to six months for completely free if you want to test it out. Um, also, Clip Studio Paint often goes on sale, and as you can see, the one-time purchase, it's already 50% off almost. So if you really want to save money, then just wait for a sale. It happens at least a couple of times a year. Uh, for new users, if you want to use 3.0 with all the cool features, um, or you have to use uh, Android tablet or iPad, you have to do monthly or annual pass, which means you have to pay a little bit every month. Um, so depending how many devices you have, how many, like whatever version you want to use, blah, 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 all of this uh, stuff, uh, you will have to pay a little bit of money. So if I go into my iPad account, I go into all plans, you can see all of this, <laughs> all of these words that are super confusing. Um, but basically the cheapest one I can do is pro version, which doesn't have animation stuff and a little bit extra features. And it's only single device, which is 489 a month. And that is the cheapest you can do for X is going to be 10 bucks a month, basically. And then if you want to use it on Windows or Mac, which is cool because you can actually buy a one time payment, you can either buy it 60% off at the moment, or you can do annual pass, which is again, you, you can use either the subscription or one time payment. What do I personally recommend? I think that if you do manga and if you like like super updated stuff and you use the tablet, obviously get the subscription. If you're on the computer, I think you could get away with the pro version. If you do animation, definitely get the X version, whichever you can afford, you know, whatever you think is best, you can do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Um, anything else, whatever update passes, whatever this other crap is, whatever the, you know, you also get a little bit of um, discounts if you go from version two to three. It doesn't like, don't worry about this. Like it, it's, it's either going to be a little cheaper or it's going to be full price. This is just confusing. Don't worry about this. So um, <laughs> if you're uh, on a computer, just, just get whichever you can afford. You're going to be fine. Um, if you do animations, um, if you want manga, um, then get version three uh, pro, I mean X. Anything else, everyone will be fine, I believe, on version 2 or version 1. Honestly, it's not a big deal. I think the features are cool. And the only thing that I would personally get it for is probably um, the Pose uh, Maniac. So this, this thing is really, really cool that it lets you import 3D model poses and you don't have to pose as much anymore. Um, I think that's a game changer if you have a lot of manga stuff. So again, if you don't do a lot of manga, if you don't use 3D or animation, don't worry about any of this stuff. Don't ju just don't worry about it. 
For other people, um, it depends of your personal choice. If you can afford it, go get it. If you don't feel like it, then it doesn't matter. So hopefully I was able to answer everyone's questions. And um, if you're still angry, which you probably are, you can argue in the comment section, which that's what happened last time in my video when I was reviewing this <laughs> new updated pass. And I was also recommending different uh, programs for painting and honestly um, I know a bunch of people who use Photoshop CS6 I think or like super early days of it and they're just doing fine um, you don't really need the latest uh, software for painting honestly and personally I have even been getting into traditional media so I just got this $10 uh, metal pen and I've been just dipping into ink and I just was scribbling it on an old, old sketchbook I got like years ago. So uh, getting back into traditional media, also think about that. Don't worry about the latest tech. Uh, it's fun, but at the same time, you know, just focus on your art, focus on what you like uh, and just keep going. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope uh, this video was helpful and see you all next time.